Hi, Andrew here from GlazerTuning.com, and today I would like to teach you how to balance hydrogen peroxide yields water uh, plus oxygen gas. So the first step in any balancing equation is just simply put in these little lines to the left of the compound. This will represent the location of where we're going to place the coefficients, all right? Then remember the general principle that however many atoms of each particular element we have on the left-hand side must balance however many atoms of each particular element we have on the right-hand side. Then I'm going to just simply work with the first element that I see. So I see hydrogen, okay? Now I have two hydrogens on the uh, left-hand side and I wanna check to see hydrogen on the right-hand side and I have two hydrogens there as well. So that's balanced, nothing to do. Next, I'm gonna move on to then the oxygen. So I notice I have two oxygens on the left-hand side, so why don't I write that down, two. Now that has to somehow equal, okay, the number of oxygen in total on the right-hand side. Now you have oxygen coming from both uh, compounds, all right, or both molecules. So in terms of the water molecule, you have one oxygen, so one, plus then you have two oxygens coming from the gaseous uh, oxygen molecule, so a two. So somehow this math statement has to be true, that somehow two must equal three. Now obviously that doesn't, that, that's not a true statement, right? So what I need to do is I need to place a variable, a coefficient someplace so that I can balance this. Okay, now there's really three spots that I can play, one of three spots I can place this, all right? But one of those spots is better than all the others, all right? Do you know which spot is the best place to put this coefficient? Turns out it's right there. Do you know why? Why is this the best place? You know why? Because it only affects the oxygen's value. If you place a number here, then you affected hydrogen as well. Now we got to go back and balance, but then when we balance the hydrogen over here, then we're going to throw off the oxygen and we're going to keep going around the circle of, we, we, we cannot balance it that way basically. All right, I need to put a coefficient here just so that it's going to affect the oxygen, all right? So I'm going to erase this statement because that I'm going to go back to this line, okay? Not that two equals three, but I was just writing that down to show you that it's just not going to work. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place in this math statement, let me make it a little neater, right? So I'll move the two on over, okay? I'm gonna place now my variable x next to the two because it's gonna be some number times two and it's gotta make this equation work, okay? Now this equation can work. We can make this work. It's two is going to equal one plus two x. How would you solve this for x? Simply subtract the one from both sides You'd have one equals now two X. And then all you'd simply have to do, I'll move this up a little bit, is just divide two out from both sides, right? And you realize then X is going to equal one half. And that's now the value of X, okay? So go back up here and erase it and plug in the one half. Now, technically this equation is balanced. I'm gonna just erase all this craziness, all right? Just to keep it nice and clean. So technically the equation is balanced, all right? It's balanced, but we're not finished. The reason being is because we cannot have a fraction of an oxygen molecule. Either you have a whole oxygen molecule or you have no oxygen molecule. There is no such thing as a half of an oxygen molecule. It's not oxygen anymore, right? Just like half of a person isn't a person. I don't know what it is, but it's probably not alive. So what we need to do now is we need to use this though fraction to help us out. Now this is very, very simple. And by the way, before we do this, just place in ones as placeholders there for the time being, okay? So whatever the denominator value of that fraction is, will represent the number that you're gonna multiply each coefficient by. Every single coefficient, including the fraction, okay? It's so simple. Now, what's two times one? It's a total, that's two, right? So just simply write two. What's two times one? Simple, that's a total of two. So just write two. And what's two times one half? It's just one, right? This will always work out this way. Whatever the numerator of your fraction is, as long as you're multiplying it by the denominator, it'll it, the value will be just the numerator basically, right? Because the twos cancel, all right? So it's just a one. So erase that and plug in a one. And now this is finally a fully balanced equation. All right, let's check it out. You got four hydrogens, four hydrogens. You got four oxygens. And here you have two oxygens, right? Because the two times the one is a two. And you also have two oxygens 
for a total of four. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If this helped you out at all, like, subscribe, tell your friends, or check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, we've got harder examples if you want to challenge yourself. Um, but we have physics videos out there. We've got math videos. We've got a whole lot of other stuff coming. Uh, we'd love to help you out with more, right? So take a look. Take care.